How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Jesse Lee. Welcome to Jesse Lee Fitness. Um, today we're taking a look at some items that I bring to the gym that I find are most useful for folks who are taking uh, weightlifting a little bit more seriously. Um, so stay tuned. First item on the docket is going to be Versa Grips. Versa Grips um, are basically something you're going to be using for your pull day. The way they work is uh, you kind of Slip your hand through this little strap here, tighten it a little bit, wrap uh, it around so it's pretty nice and tight around your wrist. And uh, whenever you're doing any kind of pulling action, pulling movement, you're going to wrap this leather piece around the bar and then wrap your fingers around that. Uh, and that's just gonna help you uh, be able to pull a lot of weight without having to depend on a lot of forearm strength. So if you're doing something like a deadlift and you get past like three plates or something and you're having trouble holding onto the bar and you don't want to use a mixed grip where one arm is externally rotated and one arm is internally rotated. You're not trying to build those, trying to get those muscle imbalances. Something like Versa grips, something like uh, wrist straps are going to be very beneficial as you start working with heavier weight. So fantastic for back day. Second item is going to be uh, wrist wraps and wrist wraps the way they work is basically going to take the wrap wrap it around your wrist kind of like the name says so that's nice and tight and what we use wrist wraps for is uh, for benching like barbell benching dumbbell benching chest day whenever we're using um, a heavy weight it's gonna be something especially for like uh, weight that's like in the five rep range and below. And what it does is basically it keeps your wrists straight and locked in this position so that once we do, once we are holding a heavy weight in our wrist, um, we're, we're basically gonna lessen the chance that uh, we're gonna drop the weight in front of us or, or behind us. Um, it's basically gonna keep our wrists nice and rigid throughout the lift, nice and secure, keeping us safe. So these are an excellent piece of equipment for where our push day. Next piece of equipment, you must have a belt if you are doing free weight exercises that are starting to get heavy. Um, the belt, the way the belt works is basically you wrap it around your waist just like this, tighten the belt, and you inhale when you're performing an exercise that you're gonna be inhaling, and then bracing against that belt to create intra-abdominal pressure within your core to make your core stronger and sturdier. Um, it's gonna help protect your lower back. It's gonna make your lifts uh, much stronger when you actually use this. Um, again, once once you start getting into that, you know, six and below, five and below rep range, the belt's gonna be fantastic. Next item is something I have us use throughout the workout, and that's gonna be a water bottle. Now you can fill this up full of um, pre-workout, but the main thing I want us to focus on when uh, main benefit of this water bottle is gonna be the fact that we're uh, gonna be able to stay hydrated throughout our workout. And so uh, I'd rather, i much rather have you take a water bottle with you, sip on it throughout your workout, especially if your workout is um, getting over an hour long, this water bottle is really gonna help you uh, stave off dehydration and it's going to make your workout a lot better as it gets longer. Final item I'm going to have us talk about are flat shoes. These are Converse shoes but also uh, you can use something like Vans and if your gym allows you to um, just squatting, uh, squatting or deadlifting slippers are fantastic and the reason that we have these uh, kind of like flat soled shoes that don't have a lot of squish to them is to help us um, lose less energy when we're doing things like a deadlift or like a squat. When our body is under uh, a lot of load and we're trying to pull something off the ground or we're trying to squat with a heavy uh, weight, we're gonna be losing a lot of energy through like a tennis shoe sole that's a little bit squishy and has a lot more give to it. Um, the closer the contact you can make with the ground, the better. And so it's another excellent piece of equipment I highly recommend. Uh, but yeah, these are, these are what I personally bring to the gym. 
This is what I'd recommend anybody who's a serious lifter bring to a gym. Uh, let me know if you guys bring something else or if you have different opinions. Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.